PCWizKid here with a quick Windows tip on changing the network flyout pop-up in Windows 10 to something else. So, for example, right now, when you click on the network icon in your system tray, you get something like this in Windows 10. We're going to change it to something that looks like this, which is what we had in Windows 8. Or we can change it also to go to the network settings pop-up, which looks like this. Okay, let me show you how to do that. I need you to right-click on the Start button here on the left corner and then click on Run. Then that opens up the Run window. Type in regedit, one word, no spaces, and press OK. Up comes the registry editor, and we need to navigate to hkey local machine slash software slash Microsoft slash Windows slash current version slash control panel slash settings slash network. I've already expanded and navigated to that point. You can pause the screen, of course, and take your time. You see I've already expanded each of these sections. They look like folders, but they're not folders, they're keys. But I've expanded each of those and got all the way to the network, which was the last one on that path. Select network. Okay. After you click on it, on the right-hand side, you're going to see a whole bunch of things there. You're going to double-click on replace van. Okay. The reason why you're double-clicking on that is we're going to change the value to either a 1 or a 2. So by default, it's set to 0, which is the default Windows 10 flyout. We're going to change it to 1, for example. Okay. If you change it to 1, you get the network settings, which looks like this. Okay. That's So when you click on that network icon on the tray, it's going to open up that. Or if we change it to 2, the value, it's going to open up the sidebar here. That's that flyout that we had in Windows 8 or 8.1. Okay, so you can change it. So you choose which one you want. Again, double click on replace van and then change the default value, which is 0, to either 1 or 2. So if we change it to 1, press OK, and then close the registry editor. Now, when you go and you click on the network icon, you're going to get this. Okay, again, go back, change it to 2, and then you'll get the sidebar style flyout, if you want to call it, which was in Windows 8. If you don't want it at all, you want to go back, well, put zero, and that's the default. That's pretty much it. Now, if for some reason, when you went to double click on replace van and tried to set a value, you got an error that you couldn't edit, you need to right click on the network here and then go into permissions because you don't have the permissions to do that. So. Basically, you need to get full control. Right now, I'm running this as an administrator. My ID, PCWizKid, logging in, has full control. So you need to have allow full control for your ID that you're using. And uh, I even went one step further. I changed the ownership to myself. So I clicked on change. I typed in PCWizKid there. I checked the name and uh, added myself in there. And then, I, of course, if you click on edit, you can check off the little box there that says full control. So I added full control to my ID. So that way I could have access to editing and changing those values. So if you have that problem, then you need, then you know that you need to change your permissions, okay? Other than that, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.